This is uh, all right. So you, this is your second convention. This is my second convention. I was uh -huh. in Tampa four years ago. Alan, Alan Banner of Liberty. Alan Banner. And this is your first. Say that again, please. This is the first time I've ever voted in a presidential election. Well, all right. Dana Kasmark, first time voting. Uh, why and why? Uh, how, what's? Why well, do you? How do you like? You like conventions just in general? I, I had a great time at the last one. And, all right. And so, I. Uh, Ask my party chairman if he had somebody that was still looking for delegates, and he says the Trump people just contacted me today. Well, as I started paying attention to what Donald Trump is saying, I kept liking him more and more. Mm -hmm. And then when it got to the point where they finally did ask for the paperwork to be signed, by that point, I really liked him, and I'm glad that I was able to get on his campaign. All right. And what, uh, what got you voting, basically? Uh, I just wanted to join a party. I was actually more in a Democrat. Mm -hmm. That's where my hometown is Brookfield, Ohio. Most of them are Democrats. And I moved to Gerard, and there was like a change up a little bit. So I joined Central Committee and Executive Committee. And then uh, that's what started it. We started learning, going to meetings, and going through that process. And that's... How I that's how you. Where I'm at. That's yeah. here we are. All right, so Mr. Uh, veteran, convention veteran, how, how's this one uh, st stack up? How's Cleveland treating you compared to Tampa? Um, I don't really notice a lot of difference because what I paid attention to was down in Florida, everybody was so absolutely friendly. Uh, the conventioners, right? And up here at this one, I'm finding exactly the same thing. Uh, it, it's really putting a nice face on Cleveland, and I'm, being from Ohio, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, uh, the excitement level, I was down on the floor of it before. This time I haven't been on the floor or even close to it yet, but I can see that the excitement is growing just by watching what's up on the screen. Yeah. And uh, I'm kind of excited about getting back in there, so, because Watching the people as their excitement grows, it's contagious, and it, it hit me like that also. Yeah. How about you, first timer? How's it? How are you finding this experience? I'm, I'm just loving the whole scene. Yeah. And that's just just taking it all in, and uh, everybody and the people that are Trump are total Trumps, and the people that aren't are very not. And you can tell because. When we drive the Trump mobile around, mm -hmm. we get you know, people throw stuff at us, yell, scream, but then the Trump supporters, they like surround us and get our pictures with us with celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's starting to get that way, feel yeah. that way. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We were at the Trumbull County Fair last week, and there was a lot of people that told us that they were Democrats and were changing parties. So they could vote for Donald Trump, and they had already done that for the primary. Mm -hmm. And then there was a lot of people. We had a uh, cardboard cutout of Mr. Trump. They're standing there getting their picture taken with our cutout, and then some of them are going back to where our Trump trailer was and getting their picture taken with that. With the trailer, <laughs> yeah. Signs and trailers. <laughs> Signs Who and do? trailers. Cardboard cutouts. <laughs> I don't remember ever seeing that with anybody else. The, the excitement that he generates, is, um, I've never seen that before. Yeah. So how, how stoked are you? How excited are you for uh, the big the big speech? Um, I haven't even thought about it yet. Yeah? <laughs> just <laughs> just enjoying the ride. Yeah. We're just trying to get through trying this. To, yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful that uh, I, think, I think today is the day that uh, uh, the vice presidential candidate, uh, Mr. Uh, Pence, Speaks, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, yeah, I can't remember the schedule. And, and, and I'm hopeful that it is, since that's the day that I'm here. Because uh, I want to hear him talk. I haven't heard a whole lot of him. I've seen a couple of interviews. Mm -hmm. And uh, so far, what I've heard, I like. I, I assume you guys aren't driving an hour and a half back home every night, right? Yes, we We're, did last night. Oh, Lordy. After the party. Yeah, we had a party uh, on 55th Street last night that we came up for and I brought my trailer <laughs> and uh, uh, we parked it right where it could be seen from inside the party and from out in the parking lot. 
with and the, the lights streets. at night. Yeah, we have lights on it. Of course, nice. Um, and um, <laughs> last night I had to drive it home. Today I left it there. The weed just came up. So, uh, because we had a chance to get inside, and uh, we were not expecting it. This is a total. Uh, oh yeah. Totally unexpected. Yep. So I take it you'll be here this, this evening for the prime time stuff. See if you can yeah. see yourself on television, maybe. I'm gonna be on there. <laughs> he is actually gonna be on. There. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Well, yes. all right. Come yep. on. Oh yeah, when, please. When they talk about uh, uh, how NAFTA and GATT has hurt America, mm -hmm. um, I haven't worked very much because of some of the stuff that's involved with NAFTA and GATT. With all the jobs that have left the Youngstown area and the steel mills and that, uh, the construction work is way down, and that's what I do is construction work. All right. Thank you. Enjoy.